Imagine your muscles construction sites. Every time you move, whether it's walking, yoga, or lifting, you're sending a message to these sites. And based on the message, your body decides how many workers to send, and more importantly, how long they will stay. Inside every muscle is a control room, the MPS room, where muscle protein synthesis happens. That's where the repair crew gets to work. The harder the job, the more worker your body sends in. The bigger the damage, the longer they stay. So let's break this down and understand it. You go for a brisk 45 minute walk. Your muscle says, hey, we moved a bit. Nothing major. Send me two baseline workers for a quick sweep up. No major damage done today. These workers always show up. They don't build. They just clean up, maintain, and prevent decay. That's all. Walking keeps the lights on, but the house doesn't get any bigger. Now you do yoga three times a week. Deep holds, stability, full body control. This time the muscle says, all right, we've had some tension. We work deeper tissue than we did when we were walking. Send in three or four workers and let them say 12 or 16 hours to clean things up. This crew just doesn't maintain. They improve posture, they improve mobility, and a bit of strength. It's a light renovation, but growth, yeah, still limited. The signal just isn't strong enough to build major muscle. Now let's say you lift heavy weights three days a week, deadlifts, squats, rows. The muscle gets hit hard. It flips the lights on and shouts, hey, we've taken some serious stress here. We've had some microfiber tears, neurological fatigue. If this happens again, we need to be braced for it. Let's adapt. And so the body sends six to eight workers and it keeps them there for up to 48 hours to repair all the damage that's been done. This is the signal that sparks real growth. The workers stay longer. They build more. They reinforce the foundation. That's what adaptation really means. The body upgrades in response to stress. Your body is an efficiency machine. Low demand, like walking, minimal resources, minimal response. Medium demand, like yoga, moderate upgrade. High demand, like strength training and lifting, to, to failure, full rebuild. And if you never send the signal, the body lets go of muscle, especially fast twitch, that burn most of the energy. No demand, no reason to keep the muscle. So the body gets rid of fast twitch. Now zoom out 25 years, three people, all age 40, all start with the exact same muscle mass. But 25 years later by 65, the person who's walking four days a week only loses eight to 10 pounds of lean muscle mass. They're still moving, but shrinking, slower and more fragile. The yogi, the person who does that three days a week, he's holding on a bit more. Better mobility, better posture, but still significant muscle loss. The strength trainer, they've held on steady or gained muscle. They're moving better, standing taller, bouncing back faster, significantly lower probability of falling. Why? Because they kept sending the signal and the body kept answering for 25 years. So protein gives the workers their building blocks. It's the Legos they use to repair and build. If you train, but don't eat, the lights might be on, but there's nothing to build with. If you eat, but don't train, you got Legos, but no workers. No MPS room, it stays dark. You need both. A signal, a stress, an adaptation, and a supply. Stress plus structure. Every workout you do sends a message. And over time, those messages compound. More workers, more hours, more muscle preserved, more strength gained. It's not magic. It's literally just math. The body adapts to the life that you give it. So build a life that gets stronger. Every workout is a vote for the future you. If something in this video just clicked, something you've struggled to put words into, that's the power of perspective. Subscribe, hit the bell, and let's keep making sense of it together.